Ichiran for breakfast because we're both craving something soupy um, and I'm actually like I never get sick of Ichiran I can eat it every single day and not get tired of it but anyways we're going to Ichiran for breakfast and then we're gonna head to Nagoya castle and then we're going to the biggest shrine here at Tsutsa Jinja so yeah hopefully we can find some stamps and fill up my Goshinsho a little bit more Eight. It's always 11 out of 10 for me. But yeah, so now we're heading to Nagoya Castle. We could have taken two trains, but we decided to just walk. And it's gonna be about a half hour walk, so let's go. Luckily, it's not too sunny today. I forgot to put on sunscreen again. I think I can get some sunscreen at like 7 Eleven or something.
shrines or temples in Nagoya. The whole thing it's about 3.45 now. A lot of temples and shrines close by like 4, 430 ish. I'm really hoping that the calligraphy Goshin people are not gone because I really want another calligraphy for my Goshin Choko. Jinju and we managed to get two Goshu rooms. So there is the main temple uh, at one end and the other one at the other end. So very glad I made it in time. We made some prayers and wishes. I wish for the health of my family. Um, and that's that. So we're gonna head back to the hotel and hopefully find some dinners. We've been doing so much walking these last couple days, especially yesterday during that three hour hike in the mountains. And then today, again, all day we've been on our feet. So my legs and my feet especially are super sore. So I'm excited to get back to the hotel and rest a bit and then get some food. Really, really want to go back to the opening spice before we have to leave. Today's our last full day. We're headed out to Kyoto tomorrow. So we're finally heading back to the hotel. I'm exhausted. My feet are so sore and I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to get back to our hotel and eat something. Into the subway we go. Into the subway we go. Into the subway. Oh, is this the shrine? So we're just about to walk home from the station. And we passed by the Starbucks and we saw a sign for this melon frappuccino and I really wanted to try it. So here it is. I think it's both the cantaloupe and honeydew. It's the green and the and the orange. That's delicious. What kind of melon is always single? Cantaloupe. Because you can't eat below. <laughs> So we ordered the chicken wings again, as well as a bunch of the other regional specialties here. So there is like a spaghetti dish that they're going to try that as well, as well as the chicken wings with the powder spice, as well as the sauce spice. And what else did we get? Here's one more thing. Wings, spaghetti, I think that's it. Maybe it was the I'm really, really excited for the wings. The last time we were here, we were both really, really nauseous. So we couldn't really eat that much, but it was delicious. So this time, hopefully we'll be able to eat more. I'm super excited. And we got different flavors too. Now these are the sauce chicken wings. So this is the main thing that they're known for here. It's the tebasaki spice chicken wings. And you're supposed to just break it and then just get the meat off, right? I don't really know how to do that. It smells so good. It smells amazing. <laughs> So, Nagoya is also known for this special type of spaghetti. I think it's like a spicy type of spaghetti. Spice. Mm, really good. It kind of tastes like regular spaghetti. They also have sausages and peppers as well in the spaghetti. I'm not a huge fan of peppers, so I'm not a huge fan of sausages. 
Just got back to the hotel. We had a really big dinner. We actually got some food to go. Grab it right here. This is our little bag of to-go food. We got another box of chicken wings, fish cakes with cheese, as well as the beef croquettes. I really wanted to try all of them, so we got all of them because we're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna snack on those later on. I'm gonna be pasting and copying, pasting the stamps we got into my little book. A lot of the tourist destinations and train stations in Japan actually have these like little stamp pads that you can just, they're free, you can just stamp um, whatever and usually people have a little book that they collect these stamps in so this is my book I'll show you guys this is my book so far, this is from when we went to the hike um, the Tumago and Magome hike and planning to put a lot more stamps in here as we travel to Japan but yeah, I'm gonna be working on that tonight tomorrow morning i think our train is at 11 40 into kyoto it's only about a half hour ride which is really short so not really stressed about tomorrow's journey but we do have to pack my stuff is scattered everywhere in the room so gonna get on that and otherwise i'll see you guys tomorrow good night <laughs>